Welcome to Ruben Papian TV. Shape your own future. It's the second part. Let's see. We already exercised how can we become a creator of our own future, how to create a hope, how to keep hope alive. But then our future is becoming alive, which means we can hit the target we planned. We can have success we want it to. What to do next? My question is, what you gonna do when whatever you shaped, planned, becomes a true? You think you're gonna enjoy? No. When you present yourself, your wish, your goal, your hope to the world and world accepts it, then world owns you. You don't own the world. So, if you are someone famous, it's not you who's famous. It is the world that wants you to stay famous. Just because they accepted your own creation. Your own success becomes your own obligation. And you stop creating your future just because it has been already created. And you become dependent on your own future. I'm thinking, who needs that kind of future? When I think of a future, I think about freedom, happiness, but not in a sense of passive, uh, soft sofa or good food only. Happiness as a dynamic form. So I see the future in changes, in growing. So quite an important thing, when you shape your own future, you have to do everything to not bring the end to your own creation. So, start to shape your own future, but don't give it the end. So, whatever you today consider as a success, as a realization of yourself, that shouldn't be considered as the end of your success. It's just one step. So, the painting you start to paint should not have any end. Otherwise, you paint it, you get it, it's great. It becomes the past. And then you don't know what to do next. Because the greatest work of your life, it's already in your past. What's the meaning of life then? So by shaping your own future, please, this process is constant, without stop. And every success you plan, supposed to be just one bus stop on never-ending road. Please, while you are creator of your own future, while you are shaping it with your own mind, let the others be involved in that creation. The beauty of it, it's not when one artist works on one painting. It can become much prettier and unexpected when not one, but many artists, number of artists are expressing themselves on one canvas called your own future. So allow the others around you, the one you choose, to be part of shaping your own future. You have to be wise by not stopping them, by not dictating them, by just giving them possibility to express. You can always recorrect it later. But first of all, do not stop your own future by being only artist of your future. Bring there your close ones, the time, the space, surprise, coincidence. Coincidence is like a spice that you always need when you have a great dish. Those coincidences will make your road more attractive, more interesting, more different than yesterday. So you have to shape it the way that your tomorrow will be much different than your yesterday. And if it's all of a sudden your tomorrow repeats your yesterday just because you are only artist, the best thing you can get better version of the past. That's not the future. And now let's do the second exercise of shape your own future. Sit down, close your eyes and relax. Put your palms on your thighs. 
Breathe evenly. Focus on your exhale. With every exhale, you are changing the space in front of you. You are filling the space, changing it. Do this for one minute. Say out loud to that space. My future is mine. Spend another minute feeling the space in front of you with your exhales. You will sense that the space is enriched with your words. You will have the feeling of security, self-respect, confidence and power. After that, say out loud. Start. Finish this exercise with a deep inhale and exhale into that space in front of you. Recommendation. Do this exercise every day in the morning after waking up.